Last time on Monster Makeover, our Hollywood makeup artists tried to turn lovely models into fresh zombies inspired by the game Left for Dead. Today we find out who goes home and who is one step closer to the grand prize Xbox bundle and a job in the industry. What's up, everybody? I'm Natalie Souza, and Xbox is back at the Cinema Makeup School here in Los Angeles, California. And I am Nelson Rodriguez. A lot of people wonder how I can be so tough and still look so pretty. I've never wondered that. Everybody wonders it. Uh, but today, we've got some very pretty models who are going to be scarred up in honor of the game Gears of War 2. Before we get into all that, though, we need to find out who survived last episode's rounds of the judges. But I like what you did with, uh, with the eye, just taking a, a wound and creating an eyelid out of it. I think that was, that was very effective. Um, I also like what you did with the lip. I always like black goo in mouth. That's always exciting. Morgan, one of the things you did that worked really well was the discoloration that you did underneath the eyes. Aaron, I love what you did on the neck. Leah, it's just a little bit monotone. Robert, um, very creative with the, uh, the pencil going in there. You've got good coloration for, you know, the uh, death look, and you've got some of the veining working. I'd like to have seen more. You know, I have no idea who the competition is, and it's probably a good thing. I'm just the chosen one, what can I tell you? It's my desire, it's my passion. I live, breathe, lead, sleep it. Thank Alwyn, because I'm awesome. Tim Pat, Morgan, and Robert, congratulations. Congratulations, guys, you did wonderful work. This episode, we asked our contestants to recreate a war-ravaged soldier from the game Gears of War 2. In stores on November 7th, Gears of War 2 is the sequel to the original blockbuster third-person tactical action game. This happens to be one of my favorite games of all time. In Gears of War 2, you return as Marcus Phoenix, an elite soldier battling to save the planet from a nightmarish force of underground creatures known as the Locust Horde. I am a CMS graduate. I've been working in the industry since I graduated. I'm really a lab technician, more than an on-set guy. I've been wanting to make monsters for a very long time. I've always liked gore, blood, zombies. My name is Hyunha. Ha. I'm from South Korea. My name is Lindsay Sommerfeld, and I moved here from Portland, Oregon. My name is Liz, and I am from Orange County. I'm Jordan Curtin, and I'm from Palmdale, California. My name is Tomo Hayashi, and I'm from Japan. The competition is going to be fierce, I think. Each contestant is going to have two hours and about $100 worth of makeup supplies to recreate the effect in this game. And the winner will move forward for a chance at the grand prize, and the losers will, will be lose. and, and be killed. And be killed off forever. No. Well, their spirits, their hopes. Shunned. For, for today. If you're the greedy type and you want to know what's in it for you, stay tuned to the end of this episode for information on how to enter to win an Xbox prize pack, including a copy of Gears of War 2. The game is on. Hopefully I can just keep my nerves down and focus on what I need to do, focus on my time and my edges. Contestants, welcome to the Monster Makeover. We're real excited to be doing the Gears of War 2, the soldier makeup or the cog. Good luck. The winner will be the one who knows how to make something look real. We have the, the very hardened um, soldiers. They look like they're about 6'6 and weigh about 
270. We're going to have some very rough looking women also. It's going to have to be subtle because you have to give them a determined look. They're going to rely on the model to make the look. No, you have to make it look where you're translating that feeling just with the person standing there, not doing any acting at all. So far, I've got pretty good edges, so I'm pretty happy about that. I haven't actually decided yet whether she's going to be a man or a woman. I'm a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the pain. <laughs> they're still working on doing their edge work on the appliances. Well, they're dealing with a subtle look. They're not using as much paint on the face, so they can spend more time on the quality of the prosthetics and the edges, which is what they're all doing. And the coloration is, is so important. Um, because even though you get it blended off and everything, you've still got to make the color work. Uh, and there's a lot of different colors in the face. So, you know, it's just flushing it out, if you will. I feel boxed in, X boxed in. Shut up. Yeah, shut <laughs> up, man. I heard two words in that hour. It's interesting when you do appliances, sometimes you don't know what you have until you put the color on it. The placement of the appliances is really similar across the board. I was worried about Tumble a little bit. He had a smooth edge right up against a line of stubble. So I'll be interested to see how he handles that. Put your brushes down. Time is up. Competition, you know, it's, it's always a little nerve wracking. I think this is a good chance to me. And also I can show my scale. I just wanted to see how much I can deal with pressure. If I lose, I don't know, I'd probably go out for a drink. This is much more difficult than some of the others because this all has to look like skin. Picking out three, I gotta tell you, it was tough. Lindsay, we'll, we'll start with you. You were one of the few to go a little bit beyond the prosthetics you were given. Uh, I think the speckle around the appliances was a little too harsh. I love the scar. I love the scar and I love what you did over the eyebrow. Han, I love the coloration and the, the blending and gluing underneath the eye of this particular scar. Uh, this scar, I felt it was a little too red. The dirt that you have on could almost be interpreted as a beard. Liz, I, I like what you did a lot because you broke away from just the scars. You went dark underneath the eyes, which sunk the eyes, which gives it a, a fierce look. I like the cut over the lip. I really like the contouring and right underneath the eye. It was really well done. Jordan, uh, you did a great job with the appliances. Fantastic edge work. Just phenomenal. Really nice job. Tomo, uh, I like what you did a lot. The suture, perfect. You know, there's just that edge is just, there's no edge. Leonard did say it was a very, very tough choice. Uh, we fought back and forth for hours uh, deciding which one and we finally came to some decisions um, on how we're going to move forward from this. Um, I know that you know that I know that you want to see what happens next. Yes, we do, right this second, uh, uh, right now. But we can't show you. You'll have to wait till next time. In the meantime, you can go to xbox.com slash monster makeover to enter the sweepstakes for a chance to win an Xbox 360 bundle. And you can also read the rules and the officials. And all that nitty gritty stuff. Yeah, that's kind of important. And don't forget to tune into the next episode to find out who is one step closer to winning the Monster Makeover. <laughs> <laughs>